What's up, people? How's it going? Uh, after uh, about two months of being here, I finally decided to uh, do a city tour of the city center of Kapuzvar, Hungary. <laughs> I know it took me a while, but we were just having so much fun being in other places in Hungary. But yeah, here's a here's an episode of uh, our our temporary uh, home, Hungarian home, Kapuzvar, Hungary. This is Hotel Kapos. Uh, the reason why I'm starting this off with this uh, first here and uh, in the city tours is because this is the first place we came to eat when we first arrived in Hungary, in Cabo's Bar. And it's, I highly recommend this place. It's very delicious. A lot of great Hungarian food and great service. And, and uh, you got to try the uh, goulash and the um, Hungarian lemonade. But believe me, it's definitely a reason why it's called Hungarian Lemonade. It's like, I don't think, uh, it's, it's a totally original lemonade. I haven't tasted anywhere else. <laughs> Here's a statue of a dude named Nepomuki Janos. Actually, it's Janos Nepomuki because here in Hungary, they list a lot of surnames first. And then, and then their first names. So that's, I did get used to that, but yeah, that's why it's Napo, Nepo Muki Yano, Saint Yano. So I think that the CT is Saint. But again, like all uh, in Europe, they have a bunch of cool uh, statues everywhere. And this is the uh, Kaposvar Cathedral. This is pretty cool. And um, it's a little bit less like, it, or it's a little more minimalistic than like cathedrals in France and Italy. Um, in Spain and Portugal and um, probably Belgium, but a lot of other European countries, but they still look really cool. And there's that other, there's another statue over there. Um, but yeah, this is just a really, oh, and I think that's another historical place right there. I forget what it was um, when I was reading about this place. But yeah, this, as you could tell, this city center is like a really cool place, really uh, historical place. Here's the side of the cathedral, like the south-facing side of the cathedral. It's, it's still, of course, really cool. Not as big, of course, as the one in Peach, but still a good size and, you know, really, really um, beautiful architecture. I don't, I don't know what, what architectural style it is, but definitely minimalist as opposed to other ones. And there's another statue over there. I think, oh, that's St. Stephen. I think most of the Hungarian towns have St. Stephen. Um, in uh, statues in them because you know being the first king and you know the big saint and all and here's an, a cool shot of the square and right here is the city hall of Hungary uh, Kavazor and Kavazor got a ton of cool history most of these buildings um, are, are, are were built like in the 17 and 1800s um, because before then they were all like destroyed because of the when the Ottomans arrived here, they were, the Ottomans were here in like for 131 years. I think they, they came, they, they destroyed the, the, or they overtook the, the Kapos Castle here in, in 12, 1255? Yeah, 1255. And they stayed for a, no, 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 no. That, that's, no, that, that, that's 1255. 1555, yeah. 1255 was when the Mongols were here. But um, yeah, in 1255, they, they took over, they finally took over, the, they seized the castle and took it over. and. And then just decided to stay for 131 years until the Habsburgs defeated them in like 1668 or 1666, something like that. So yeah, a lot of, a lot of cool history here. Before that, um, let me see, the, the, Kel the, the Celts were here like in 400 BC. And then the, 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 some Illyri uh, the Romans, when what's called Pannonia. And then the Romans and Illyrians and then the Slavs and then the Magyars So yeah, a lot of a lot of cool history a lot of different peoples arriving here until the Hungarians arrived another cool statue I don't know who this guy is I didn't read up on him, but he looks pretty like imposing you know with that arm up and Sword and stuff. I just know he's in front of this cool building. Oh, I think they, that's the museum the Kaiser Museum behind him, and another restaurant, an Italian restaurant. The Italian restaurants are super popular, super popular here in uh, Hungary. Here's a shot down one of the thoroughfares of the city center. As you can tell, it looks really beautiful here. 
um, you know, a lot of cool um, 19th century, 17th, 18th and 19th century buildings. I think this is a museum that we're not going into today. And I think this is an, no, 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 it's not an Italian restaurant, but it's a cool restaurant. Nonetheless, we gotta eat there. But look at, just look at this cool architecture with, uh, the, I, I love uh, all the balconies in Europe. They're just all over the place. And they just don't have them where I grew up in the U.S. too much in Southern California. But uh, they got them here, and I'm pretty happy. You know, it's fun to see European stuff in Europe. <laughs> but yeah, beautiful thoroughfare. And I guess this is Count Francis Zeschenyi, a memorial. I guess he was the founder of the library and the museum here. So yeah, definitely promoted lit, uh, literacy and, and memories here in Capizuela. They got these uh, plaques kind of all over the city. And other, other places, other, other cities too. I guess this guy is just really limber. So, yeah. Okay, I made a mistake earlier. This is the museum. It is looking cool. And, but I, I'm not mistaken in the fact that we're not going in today. I just wanted to show you how cool it looked. Yeah, a bunch of cool stuff about Hungary and Kapuzvar inside there. And, you know, got the, uh, the, uh, you know, nice, uh, balcony going on there. So, yeah. This is a retro style clothing store that Zora really likes. I, I kind of dig it too. <laughs> Nothing really about Kappa's Bar, but I just thought it looked cool, so I wanted to show you. And this is another statue with another story that, uh, that I don't know. But the statue was cool. Uh, and again, they have these like all, all over Hungary and, and all the cities. So, which is really, really cool. It's kind of like everyday people, probably, you know, uh, important members of the, of this, of that particular city that they want to showcase. but. Yeah, I, th I think these are really, really cool. Really fun to hang around and uh, check out when you're walking through the, through the city. Another old building. I think it is an art gallery, but this is a nice um, historical facade from back in the 1800s. And this pharmacy looks cool because it, it looks all like <laughs> uh, historical and retro. And yes. Of course, you know, more building facades and stuff to show as I'm nearing the end of this particular thoroughfare. I just love that word thoroughfare. It, it makes me sound just like so much more sophisticated. But uh, since this is ending, I got to get to the other part of the, the downtown area, you know, with more uh, interesting facades and thoroughfares. I think this is some kind of uh, zoo or like, you know, maybe historical, you know, like fossils or something of animals that are they found in uh in in, in Cabo's bar years ago because uh, you know they got the teeth and stuff i guess you know the animals let you sit on here here's a shot uh, another shot of the cathedral in the distance there that we'd get coming from the opposite end of the thoroughfare i just love spires and stuff like that it reminds me of prague which is also known as the city of a hundred spires such cool stuff. Another sighting of a wild animal in uh, Capitals Bar City Center. This is so cool. I just love, uh, this is a bookstore and it's kind of in the lower level. Uh, it's, I think it's closed, but yeah, it's definitely closed to those bars in the, in the door. But uh, this kind of stuff is just all over Europe. I love it. You know, having a, a cool, uh, you know, bookstore down and like almost in the basement. Here's a nice little park in the Capos Bar City Center. It's really, really little. little. <laughs> but anyway, I thought it looked nice. This is Cafe Frey, where we're going today to, you know, get some coffee. It has a ton of cool different choices on it. And maybe do a little bit of sketching today, you know. Finally show you guys uh, my skills with the, you know, 
pencil and paper and markers and stuff. No digital stuff today. They have a whole bunch of cool uh, coffee choices. Uh, it's so much that, man, it's going to be challenging to pick one. But I'll pick one. Probably it's sweet. Here's the other side of Cafe Frey. And coming down another thoroughfare that leads to the center plaza and the uh, cathedral. Man, city, old city centers, European city centers are pretty nice. And here's a closer shot, again, uh, but a closer shot of the capitals of our city hall, which was, I think, built in the 1700s. No, 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 1800s. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and I wish the castle was still here, but that sucker was destroyed in like 1668. The, the Habsburgs, when they came and retook the city from uh, from the Ottomans, they they for some reason they destroyed it, which sucks because that would have been really cool to see. But anyways, they used to have a castle here. They built it because of the Ottomans, but now it's not. Well, I, I guess I guess it's been not for many many centuries, a few centuries. But anyway. Cavazwar looks pretty cool. We picked a good place to temporarily live. Temporarily. Here's the last street leading to the uh, city center plaza in Cavazwar. Um, what they call, or they call Utsa. Utsa. U-T-C-A. Utsa. For street in Hungarian. And it's uh, Ulitsa, actually, in Macedonian. So pretty close. Here's the Hotel Cavazwar again. And uh, there's the city center. More Cabo's Bar City Center statues. I guess it's, it's a meeting between Andre Catlin and Joseph Ronai. Joseph, that's the story behind this. Some the important guys meeting, doing something, with a uh, in front of a uh, cafe, bakery. Great place to be. That reminds me, I'm hungry. Now that looks old <laughs> and very interesting. Yeah, just this one like historical uh, facade right here in the corner. I think the, the next one next to it is a little bit newer. But yeah, that is cool. This is another statue that's outside the, on the other side of the cathedral. Uh, I showed it earlier, but I thought I'd get a closer shot because they're just, <laughs> I like them. Amazing European statues. This is kind of where it's in relation to, to the cathedral and the city center plaza. Okay, that's it for this episode of City Tour. And uh, yeah, it was really short because Capitals Park City Center is not that, not that big. But I uh, hope you enjoyed it, had a good time. And I'll check you in the next video. And now we're, right now we're going to get some coffee, do some sketching, and then, see, and then I guess you'll see what's up next on the channel, uh, on the next video that I post. Ciao.